okay? Uh, let's see. So here is the Tunnel 14 Redwood. Um, this is such cool stuff, you know? Just be, it's backstory, but also just the way it's aged. Um, you can see here, let me splash a little. So I've got, I've got sides, right? Front and back, and they were all cut from the same billet. I also have up in my stacks up there a really beautiful quarter saw neck blank. Um, so the entire instrument and neck blocks and kerfing linings, which I've already made. Um, but just to give you an idea of what this stuff looks like under finish, let's see. It's some naphtha. It's really, beside, you know, ignore the sanding scratches, but. It's dark and beautiful, and this stuff rings like a bell, so I'm convinced this is going to make a fantastic guitar, and it'll be light as a feather. Very interesting. Um, and then, this of course could be changed, but I thought, you know, uh, binding of Zircote, because this wood, it's very luscious, but it's rather, you know, it's not figured. So, um, you know, having a binding that would have some real character to it, like this Zircote. And then to set that off with a really nice um, maple purfling line. Um, here I've got, you know, master grade um, ebony fingerboard, bridge blank. There's the red, the uh, rear headstock um, veneer, and I think maybe the front uh, of the of the headstock could be done in zircote, so that would all be like matched up and looking really cool. Um, that's going to make a pretty dark guitar, and so I have uh, these Grand Tune tuning machines with the bone nut, uh, buttons that would look really nice with the bone uh, saddle uh, and uh, pins. So this, of course, is totally all up to your approval, and we can adjust it as you see fit. But there's my, there's my idea. So have a good day.